<clears throat> traders, good morning and hello. I'm in a different location. I'm in, I don't know what you'd call this, sort of the dining room. I've got Sky News running on that TV. I've got ABC News running on that TV as well. It looks like uh, Malcolm Turnbull is going to announce that party room meeting where um, they're going to have that spill and someone's going to get voted in as the new prime minister. So uh, I've got the gold chart up here and it's fading again. So I sort of discussed this with Connie yesterday as, you know, potential buy and hold trade. Uh, a few, you know, interesting points were raised on Trade Talk. Check it out, guys. Trade Talk episode 77. Um, but definitely right now, it looks like it's going to go sideways. So I guess, you know, as the U.S. might, uh, you know, really struggle with its debt situation laid down the track, I don't know when, then you might see gold, you know, really strongly rally. But currently, the uh, U.S. economy, you know, isn't diabolic right now. All right, so we've got the Aussie dollar here. Now, my main concern with this uh, was the entry was really here when it engulfed that candle. I... I, I would have missed that. I would have been doing something. I might have been at work. Probably is at work. But you know, this candle printed. And it was sort of breaking down. I thought to myself, look, I was, I was particularly tired. And I was like, I don't think I'm in a good you know, mindset to be trading. So I sort of called it. And um, this one right here, though, if this closes below these lows, this is definitely a potential sell now. So... The concern fundamentally, and I know I'm talking fundamentals, I don't really normally do that, but it's interesting because uh, it's not clear who the Prime Minister is going to be. So there is a little uncertainty. I know Peter Dutton is quite conservative, um, but at the same time, no matter who gets voted in, you've got this other party, the Nationals, who are sort of commingled with uh, the Liberal Party, and they're going to make demands and they wanted the energy minister portfolio because they want coal back on the agenda. So um, it's just, the dynamic is, is quite interesting in the fact there's a lot of uncertainty. So I think uncertainty is probably going to drive the price lower. I'm looking for, look, I'm, I'll be looking for a technical entry point, though. And right here, if it can get just below the lows, I'll be interesting. I mean, it's very, you got to understand, if this was just sideways and it broke through here, it'd be a lot easier, but there's just so much congestion. You can't get caught up in the whole fundamental thing, like just, oh my God, sell the Aussie dollar. Um, you know, because you still have to be true to the technicals. Um, and the catalyst is all well and fine. I mean, this, this was a hard entry right here. This was really the candle to sort of get into. But I definitely, definitely missed that one. So that would have been one of that close. Yeah, I did. I missed that candle. I'm not sure what I was doing. I think I was doing trade talk at the time. So, but, um, you know, we get another engulfing candle. I'm going to sell, uh, you know, because it's, it's got plenty of room to go still. I mean, the next support level is at 71.81. So that is something to think about. Weekly candle, pretty bearish after a bit of a reversal there, so it's interesting. But as you can see, it's not the trend is not really clear right now since 2015. I mean, it had a little bit of a rally, you know, earlier in the year. It's, I mean, I guess this year it has been steadily on the decline. If you just look at that little snapshot of uh, 2018. Big time, actually. You, know, you could probably draw a trend line. Let's draw a trend line. I mean, just to, just to do something. Wow, Scott, that was. I've had my coffee too, so there's really no excuse for that display of. That is a level of love. Um, I'm dog sitting for my umbrella. Okay, so that, I don't know, that's sort of the trend line. So it's interesting. It's touched, you know, it is semi-close to that next level, though. So it's interesting. But, yeah, it just continues to go lower, closes it below here. I'm going to sell that. So if we're talking 
below the lows of 7239, there'll be a penny on to put in, maybe like 37. Um, I'm probably gonna have to wrap this up soon, guys. There's nothing really else uh, on the radar. I think the euro is pretty uneventful. Odin, it's okay. Mm. Pound. So <clears throat> nothing on the euro quite yet. Even though there were tariffs uh, imposed, I don't know if they've come into effect yet on the European cars. I think 25% Donald Trump's. And again, actually, let's have a look at the US and Canada. <clears throat> and the pound is finished. I do apologize for this as well. So, with the pound up here now, oh, golly gosh, we had a bit of, there wasn't a real sort of clean breakdown though. I'll watch this Rissell trade as well. I'll keep the wrist small. All right, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and bye for now.